Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Team Connect on November 8th. Oh my goodness, um, 2020, it's crazy how this year, this has been the wildest year. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> um, but just, again, I wake up every morning so grateful for Arbonne and for the constants, you know, in my life. And that's plugging into healthy living. When things are uncertain, at least you can take care of your body and get in motion and do your, you know, daily reading and get your mind right. And I'm so grateful, you know, for the routine of, of plugging into Arbonne and being with this positive community. There's some other people waiting to get in. So exciting. There we go. Um, so yes, welcome. Oh, there's Laura to you. Welcome, Laura. Hi, welcome. Can you see me? No. Glad okay. you're here, though. I can't see. I'm joining this from my phone. I'm just getting dressed here, so I'll be off screen for a okay. little bit. But I wanted to, to see you guys. We, we had someone <laughs> on the Healthy Living the other night who didn't realize she had her camera on and proceeded to take off everything and oh, no. said, and I missed it but Katie saw it anyway but that recording did not go out <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious I can totally <laughs> see that happening so whoopsies but um yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh, so yes camera awareness um but yes I was just I was just saying that this this month, November, in my mind, I don't know about you, but I just woke up like, that is it. I feel like this has been such a weird sideways year. <laughs> and yep. I'm so determined to just make November my personal best. And whatever, whatever that is, I just have to know that it was my personal best. Um, and so I'm, I'm taking on Cecilia's challenge to book eight presentations on my calendar and um you know and then also book some one-on-ones to to use the new is arbon for you sheet and just you know get used to that um so <laughs> with that being said i've booked two presentations for december so far <laughs> but here i am i'm just getting started and um in conversations i think i have a couple maybes um, and then I'm going to do my own events. And then I have a list of people I'm going to reach out today, um, reach out to today. So anyway, I thought that's what this call could be about is just all of us getting our head right and setting goals and, um, you know, and, and walking away with some, some new bookings on our calendar, even if it's just one, even if it's just two, um, just to, just to start, you know, and get the ball rolling, um, there's nothing, they always say this in Arbonne, there's nothing that activity won't solve in your business. If you're feeling doubt, if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling down, um, activity will solve everything. And um, it's always the hardest to start and then stop and then restart. And I feel like, I don't know about you, but I feel like that's where I'm at, you know, is just, you know, we, we were in a good flow and then like, you know, everything was weird <laughs> and FTC and we had to change all our presentations and like, what do we say? And <laughs> so now I feel like we're in the restart and it does, it takes some effort to get into that flow again. Um, but I'm determined, I'm determined to just, you, you know, start reaching out and reaching out. And, and that's the beauty of this. Um, I do believe that people that we talked to at the beginning of the year are in a different place now. People that we talked to two months ago are in a different place today. You know, things, just life has changed so dramatically for so many people. And I think more than ever, we have the right company with the right products, with the right opportunity at the right time. And it's just up to us to follow, Basically, follow our nudges. Who's coming to your heart? Who's coming to your mind that, you know, you feel you need to share this with? Even if they've already said no, it's okay to go back and say, um, I know you already said no. I totally respect that. But who do you know one person? Do you know one person that might, you know, benefit from this? So that, that's actually a lot of people on my list are just people I'm going back to for referrals. Um, so I wanted to just really quick before we get into all of this, um, just set up, you know, where we are in Arbonne. Um, 
So December 1st is typically when they announce the next um, Arbonne incentive trip. And in order to earn that, um, you're, you know, it's based on your own district uh, volume. And if you're not a district yet, that's okay. That it's your own central um, personal volume that they look at as well as promotion. So who are you personally promoting out and those are the you know points that they use to help you earn a trip and so it's good to load our bases in november so that people can be on qual and then finish up in december maybe um and then promote january 1st because those promotions will then start to accumulate and count for our trip um earnings so super exciting so just to keep that in mind we have um the arbon incentive is you know they extended the age well um, so if we sell five age well sets and this started in mid-September, so we have from mid-September to November 15 to sell five age well sets to PCs um, and we'll earn the Arbonne tote bag. So that's exciting. So even if you've only sold two, you can still, you know, get your three more and earn the tote bag. So I would encourage all of us to go for it, especially because they have the free skin elixir now, you know, added to that set. So that's exciting, a great reason to reach out to people. And then we have some um, team incentives. So the team incentive is always, you know, reaching your maintenance by mid month and you go in a drawing for a hundred bucks. So that's exciting and reaching your mid, mid month maintenance just sets you up for promotions and bonusing. Um, cash, you know, your achiever awards, that kind of thing. And then also I'm, I'm putting it out. Um, anyone who earns their district manager bonus um, three months in a row or consultant bonus, any bonus, <laughs> three months in a row um, will get some Tiffany. So I know last month, Amy and Shuey earned their district manager bonus. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, think of November, December, January for earning your bonus. Um, and then we also have, uh, you know, Black Friday deals. I like to say Green Friday. I think that fits our bond a little better, but we have our Green Friday deals starting on November 16. So the, the age will set with a free skin elixir will end on the 15th. And then on the 16th, we're going to wake up to, um, some new products, a new fizz flavor, a new protein flavor. So that's super exciting. So just know that we have this mid month um, little surge to also uh, build for and, you know, springboard through the rest of the month. I feel that um, here's another exciting thing in my mind. I heard on the radio that um, a lot of stores like Walmart, Target, Macy's, they're not doing the typical Black Friday opening. You know, they're not even going to be open. And this is like the first time in 30 years where people will, you know, just be encouraged to be home with their families and stuff. You guys, this is a huge opportunity because we already know that online shopping has surpassed brick and mortar shopping. Um, so it's a great time to, again, just, just load our bases now with conversations. I have goosebumps right now because people are just going to be home. They're going to be watching social media. They're going to be watching you and me and what we're doing. And like, gosh, she seems happier. Gosh, she's, she seems excited about something. What is she talking about? <laughs> you know, so, so I think the, the Thanksgiving weekend break is such a great time to reach out to people and just, you know, get the conversations going. So don't, don't shy away just because it's a holiday. This is something we need to build for. And again, just be excited about what's new coming out. And it's really cool what's new. Um, so again, this, I guess today is just about getting clarity and being intentional about what we're going for. Um, for me personally, I'm going for eight group presentations and then eight to 10 people in our healthy living group. Um, again, you know, with the holidays, with a weird year and the quarantine 15, whatever. <laughs> and just knowing that when we get our gut and our body right, it helps our mindset too. You know, it all goes together, it helps our skin, everything. Um, that's what, that's what we have here with the healthy living and it's okay to indulge on Thanksgiving, but then we have a, you know, a way to get back on track to, to, you know, again, end this year with our personal best. So 
being intentional about adding group events, one-on-ones, and who, who can I help get into district manager qualification this month with 2,500 and help them earn their consultant bonus, help them have a healthier holiday season and also, you know, a way to earn extra money for the holidays. I think that's, again, such a huge, um, a huge gift we have to give people. And then also keeping in mind that we can't prejudge anyone, you know, it's just the conversation. I've learned this, that just because you reach out to someone about the healthy living doesn't mean that you won't go into the makeup or the skincare or the opportunity. It's just, a, you know, just reach out with something and, and it gets the conversation going and you can, you know, get to what they're really looking for. Um, even if you just reach out about something you're excited about, I, I opened a lot of doors just by talking about the new deodorant saying, I don't know if you've ever looked for a healthy deodorant, but Arvon's is amazing. And, and it did, it got the conversation going. Maybe that isn't what they were looking for, but at least it started. Um, so whatever you're excited about, reach out. And I was talking to, again, Christine about um, just getting, getting my head right around reach outs and affirmations. I know um, we've been doing the Miracle Morning, right? And so I just, I, I have been using other people's affirmations, but I wanted to write my own. And so that's what I was really working on. And um, it just brought me to this place where I was, I'm, I'm good with like word pictures and visualization and stuff, you know, more than just reading words. I need a, like a picture in my mind. And so this is what I came to is that, you know, Arbonne and what we're doing in our reach outs, it's like, it's like a river, you know, that, that we can see the current and we just have to trust that this river is going to take us into a more expansive body of water. We can't see it right now, but we know we're in the current when we're doing our daily method for success sheet, when we're practicing gratitude and reaching out and following up and we're just doing what we know we need to do, scheduling things. And so we know that, um, you know, by booking and presenting and asking for other appointments, asking um, for them to take a look at the opportunity, we're, we're doing all the right things and we don't have to fight the flow. Jimmy, oh, can you let, uh, oh, Tara back in. She just texted me that she somehow, oh. sorry, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. Where'd you go? Yeah, no problem. I think she was on two devices or something. Hey, Laura, glad to have you back. <laughs> I all of a sudden I was gone now. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, there was two of you and then zero and none of you. Now we're, now we're back. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Thank you. Yes. So, so yeah, I was just thinking, you know, like our activity and daily method for success is just getting in the flow, getting in the current. People always want to join someone in motion. So that's what we're doing. Um, allow the current of our system to propel us. So one next message, do the next right thing. One next message, one next post one next event book we can live and ease you know when we're in that flow we can just kind of let go of all of our um overwhelm you know what i mean sometimes it does get overwhelming like we want these big goals and then you get overwhelmed like how is this going to happen but you can release the how when you just get in the current of that flow of our system of just doing the next right thing the next right thing and following our daily method for success sheet um I, I, oh, and then these are some of my affirmations. I'm just going to share and then we'll get into it. I can do, I can do hard things and I, because I have in the past, right? I can do hard things and I attract people who believe they can do hard things too. We will encourage and empower each other and it will be amazing. Um, I believe it's already happening. I am the vibrational energy match with people who are overcomers, big vision thinkers, opportunity seekers, inspirational, purposeful, passionate people who want to shift and up-level their lives. I'm so excited to see who shows up today. So those were some things that I wrote just to like give myself an energy boost. But um, I just wanted to, to tap in quick and just hear, hear what you're going for and hear, you know, where you're at with all of this, with Miracle Morning and setting intentions and clarity and then, and then let's do it. Let's get to some asking and um, start, start filling our calendars. So have you, where are you at, Melissa or Laura or Sherry? 
what, what are you going for for November? What would what would be your personal best? I think mainly just to get people to respond in general. Okay. I have so many crickets and I like Sherry and I did a Facebook party not like maybe a few months ago and we gave the people that actually participated a really nice goodie bag, if you will, and they really haven't done anything since then. Um, I mean, I'm just plugging away just slowly but surely trying to get people, um, you know, I have a lot of people that will want one or two things. So I feel that as a victory right there. Yeah. That they're wanting to get a few things in their house. And it's funny that you mentioned, mentioned the, the deodorant because that was one person the other day. Like, I want to try that. I'm like, okay, great. So I sent that out to her and along with a few other samples and so just trying to get people to actually just respond in general that's what i want <laughs> have you <clears throat> have you tried and and melissa oh my goodness we're all experiencing that so that is not you that is just normal um but what uh have you tried using the voice memos the voice you know i haven't kind of but i need to i need to because sometimes I'll that that all I'll text and then a few days goes by and then I'll do a voice memo and then I'll text again and say, Hey, did you hear my message? You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Like, Hey, I know you, I know life is crazy. Did you hear my message? And then they usually get back. So, I mean, no, yeah. that's but, what I need to do, but it's like, sometimes you change it up and then there's ways like you could do a little 30 second uh, video even and just be silly yeah. and you know, like, Hey, <laughs> <laughs> talk to you in a while what's going on <laughs> no it's true I I agree with you Tammy because I want to say my first year in the business I did not do that I was too scared to pick up the phone or send a voice message so I got like just used to the texting and everything that you read or hear from you know top leaders is always pick up the phone or not even just top leaders when you read the network marketing books it's always like the voice in conversation and stuff so um that's what I'm going to start doing with anyone I have phone numbers with just calling them. And then I'm been um, following it up with sending a voice text because sometimes I don't know if people re listen to their actual like phone messages because it goes, takes forever to go through. Right. That stuff. Right. But I believe a lot don't. Yeah. yeah. And then the other day, um, what was her name? Kristen. She said that when she doesn't have their phone number, she goes on Facebook and sends messages, voice messages that way instead of a text. Yeah. Which I, I like that too. And she's a millennial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with a with a big millennial team. It's amazing. Um, what was I just gonna say? We haven't even like I feel like we need to promote the pumpkin protein more too. I mean it's amazing. Yeah. Like that's another reason. I was thinking about that this morning, like, oh my gosh, I haven't even like given that its due diligence. <laughs> You know, I've been focused on age well and healthy living, and I'm just like, wait, we have this pumpkin protein too right now. So that's another thing we need to ooh, ooh, raise the roof on a little. <laughs> well, yeah, Tammy, how would you go back to like Melissa's people? I mean, uh, like she said, we've given what was it, three different sets of samples to people? Yeah, I would just, yeah. again, be, be like you're talking to them for the first time, be just that excited, like, hey, you know, just checking in. Wondering if you tried some of the samples that I gave you, wondering what you're loving about them. How are you? You know, like whatever. Just, just, um, I and don't I know. I feel like I, I have done that and they, okay. I feel like I've done that and they just, I mean, they respond to that. And then like, especially with the free enrollment and what right now I've been really trying to get them to get a few things and and that's when they don't respond. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, yeah, I, I would okay. leave it. just say, just say something like, Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you again for trying the samples and stuff. Maybe this isn't for you right now. Like let them off the hook and then just say, but do you know one person, do you know one person that might be, might enjoy, you know, some samples yeah. too, or might enjoy hearing yeah. about, you know, so just move on, like let them off the hook and then they'll be like, mm -hmm. wait, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, truly, we can't, 
I know that's been like, again, something that held me up for a long time. Remember, I was the district manager for eight years. And that that's exactly what held me up because I was waiting. Like, are you ready now? Are you ready? And these people will not be ready. <laughs> but maybe they'll maybe they'll connect you to someone who is ready and who is praying for yeah. this right now, you know. So yeah. yeah, I would just keep it keep it light and fun and then ask for a referral. Yeah. And you always see I mean you always hear follow up is the golden ticket or whatever. And um I was thinking about that the other day because I have a friend who's part of a network marketing company with um, athletic wear. And I can tell you, like, I don't I don't think about going out and buying this every single day. And she's just always like, well, on Friday at 1.30 is when they launch everything new. And, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I want something. But then it comes around to Friday. It's the last thing on my mind. I don't even think about it. So if she doesn't follow up, then I'm not sitting there thinking, like, I need to jump on and do that. So it's just interesting to go through that and think like, okay, that's where, that's our job is to like keep following up with people that we've been having those conversations with because there's people that want it. It's just not top of mind. Yeah. I loved um, when uh, Susan Kilborn trained a few weeks ago on follow-up, she gave that example of, she had a girl in 2016 join the healthy living and um, you know, loved it and, and started posting on her social media about, you know, about her great experience with the healthy living and, you know, Susan's like, great, I have a business builder, but then she just stopped, you know, because whatever, people didn't join her right away or who knows what. Um, and so then Susan's like, oh, shoot, you know, <laughs> she went MIA, but she continued to say, hey, this is what's new. And, you know, here's the deals in Arbonne for the month. And then also, hey, how's school going? How's your family? What's going on with your dog? Whatever, you know, based on her posts from social media. This girl, three years later in 2019, decided to be part of Arbonne. She's now an RVP. At her car presentation, she specifically brought up how Susan had followed up with her. And she specifically said that she didn't remember the Arbonne questions or the Arbonne promotions. She remembered that this woman reached out to her and asked her about her life, her school her dog, her family, her whatever, whatever was going on in her life. And that's what, what gave her, um, you know, this willingness to keep in touch and join her business eventually. So I just want us to keep that in mind too. Like people, I, I just always visualize, you know, someone on the side of the road with a sign and we're just, you know, people are just driving by so fast. They can't even read our sign about healthy living, first of all, or comprehend that it could be something for them. <laughs> They're just so in their own life. And so, but if we can be this, you know, a beacon of hope, if we can be positive, if we can be funny, if we can like just, you know, add some lightness to their crazy busy right now, they're going to have a positive association with us and with Arbon, and then, you know, want to do something with us eventually, or just give us a nice referral. So um, I just always think about that, just that human touch. I mean, Arbon can be the beginning of a conversation, but ultimately we just want to, we just want to love on people you know, and, and, and let them know that we're thinking about them. We care. Yeah, go ahead, Laura. Unmute. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, so to piggyback what you're saying, I just thought of something like, um, in coaching, we say, uh, uh, they train us, you know, don't coach the problem, coach the person. Oh. So in this situation, it's like, don't sell the product, sell uh, so what, uh, I just had the connection. <laughs> you're not really selling the product. You're selling the relationship. You're selling the concern. You're selling the well, support. Like, yeah. So it's like, like right now there's so much uncertainty. So just to say, I, I, you know, I can relate to that uncertainty and that's why it's so cool to have a backup plan and an extra stream of income and, you know, yeah. And even if they're not interested in like the samples that you gave them or whatever, like, Hey, okay. So, um, how else could these products serve you? Like what other concerns are you having either with your health, with your skin, with makeup or, or financially, right? Like what other, what else is going on for you? And in what other ways could Arbonne lift your life, right? Or 
whatever, something like that, right? I'm thinking that way. And then you're, you're not so much selling the product, you're selling your relationship with that person and your concern and obviously coming from a ge genuine place, right? Yeah. Well, and, and think about it. Thanksgiving, this is the, the thankful month, you know? So totally. just even reaching out to people you haven't talked to in a long time totally. and just expressing appreciation, you know? That's, again, a conversation starter. Or putting some cards in the mail with a fist stick or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Well, what's interesting is um, I think when you start, because I know in the beginning of when I was doing this business, I was so focused on the action and check marking because that's just yeah. who I am. And so okay. I'd be like, okay, I reached out to this person and I did this and asked them to join Arbon or, you know, asked them if they want to try samples, but I wasn't really listening. So that's where the personal growth has been yeah. helping me because sometimes I just don't even like bring up Arbon and just try to like listen to where their discontents are mm -hmm. or if they've talked about I'm low energy or I'm not happy in my life or whatever, whatever. And then you can get off the phone and then, and then like a day or two later, I'll reach out and be like, you know what? I was really thinking about our conversation and you said this, would you be open to whether it was an energy thing, like trying a sample or, you know, learning a little bit more about the 30 days to healthy living, things like that. So, um, that's one thing. And then the, I just finished reading um, the uh, get over your damn self. And she says at the end, going back to, you know, it's sometimes people are just not the first time that you reach out to them and you say, Hey, there's this business opportunity. They're not thinking about this. So mm -hmm. it's like for them to all of a sudden you're like, wow, there's a business opportunity. They're like, Whoa, my life is blah, blah, blah. So you bring it up, but then you have to keep following up because now you've planted the seed. Right. And then they got to start thinking about how this is going to work into their life whether it's that or, you know, the 30 days to healthy living again, they may not be thinking about anything like that, but then you start talking about it. Um, so I just thought that was really interesting because they're bombarded. She gave a statistic. I think they're bombarded. We're bombarded every single day when we're looking at social media, TV, everything else with everyone selling stuff. So there's so much noise yeah. and that we as consultants come in and when we keep following through and we keep talking to people and checking in with them, that's what we're going to, they're going to see the value of what we have to offer rather than just going to target and buying something. But I think for me, I always had the expectation, like I'm going to get somebody as soon as I talk to them. And then that's where the disappointment comes in. And then you're like, I'm not good at this, blah, 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 blah. But the more you read around the business building, it's like you have to, the, the plant, I mean, that's very rare that that happens, that you're going to get someone immediately. You know what I mean? So it's just following up. <laughs> so it's just adding that up to your calendar and putting it in there as like a task to do. Like when you've reached out to somebody, adding it into your calendar of like a time to follow up. It was cool because we talked about um, ener energy points. And maybe you've, you've done this to Laura is... Um, you know, because we, we attract people with matching energy. And, um, and so, you know, think about it. If you, for example, I was talking, I was talking to a guy at the gym. He, he's a cop. He wants to do other things. He enjoys being a cop, but he wants to like, I can just tell he has that entrepreneurial spirit. So I was kind of digging in and just asking him questions about what lights him up. And it was super fun because, you know, again, I see, I see wage work as you, you work to pay bills, but um, when you're building your own business, you have an opportunity to get ahead in life and create a lifestyle. And so that's kind of what I was communicating to him and he was really into it. He just had never pursued looking into, um, you know, make, making, creating his own business or looking into anything else besides wage work. So we were sharing that. I didn't talk about Arbonne. I just was trying to ask him questions and stoke his fire. What was cool is I walked away so inspired and so um, validated. Like, I'm so grateful I started a business. I'm so grateful I went out on a skinny branch when I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But I'm so grateful that I pursued this and just held on to the people who went ahead of me and, you know, learned from them. Uh, with that being said, that's an energy point. So, so by me helping another person, it raised my energy, it raised my vibration. And then I get home and I have two messages asking about the business, asking about the products, 
reaching out to me about breast implant illness and how did you get through it? And, you know, I have these new contacts now I'm talking to you. And it's like, it's so crazy how this works. When you, when you were doing things that you love, um, that's why we always encourage, like, go meet people doing things that you love. Like, like when I'm out at the dog beach, you know, when I was in, in Harbor, I, w- I would take Coco to the dog beach. All the dogs are playing. We're all laughing. We're having a great time watching our dogs play. It might be, when, you know, watching your kids play, whatever. Do something that makes you happy, and then you're going to attract other happy, excited, passionate people. Do you know, Sherry's meeting people at boutiques and talking fashion. Laura's meeting people in yoga and, you know, and through coaching and stuff. And that's where you're, you're in your best zone, your happy bubble. That's where we meet, you know, other people who match our energy. And just, just by being a positive light, you're going to attract positivity back. It's so crazy. And it all comes back to that super attractor law of attraction book (laughs) you know so just know that everything you're putting out does come back to you it might not be arbon at first but it will eventually lead to more conversations where you can introduce arbon it's so exciting so yeah we i think we we prejudge we get in our head about how how things are going to look in our business and that yeah we just have to oops there we go there you go um Tammy, by the way, your hair looks really pretty. <laughs> oh, it is, it's drying after the shower. <laughs> I like it. It's fun. Um, I was thinking this, you guys. I did a post the other day about um, that breakfast club. You know, Sherry, you're really good at that. Um, and I'm thinking now would be a really good time to do that as we're heading into the winter months and kind of an option for people to flirt with doing 30 days, right? Like something... <laughs> Because people are overwhelmed right now. So I have a feeling like if I go, go full force for 30 days, that might reach some people, but not everybody. So I like that. What do you guys think? The breakfast club, I was going to do that. Like today, get information out about that. And then um, the fa- remember those 15-minute Facebook parties? Are you guys still doing that? Yeah. Amy just sent out an updated um, s'more, too. Oh, wait, where? Where? Is I'll it in our box here? It was. Let me let me find it. I'll send it to you right now. Okay, and one other thing, you guys. These are awesome for storing protein powder. Oh, that's cool. You get them at Costco, and then, like, the fiber fits in these. Just saying. Nice. Um, oh, shoot. Where did I put it? Anyway, I'll send it to you. Okay, thank you. I'll repost it too. Thank um, you. Yeah. Like your problem child. They're like, can you no, resend no. that to me? It's okay, because we have, that's what I mean. We are, we're like in this whole reset. We have new Is Our Bun for You. We have new presentations. We have, you know, the new Facebook parties more. So it's like, whew, just kind of adapting and adjusting and pivoting. <laughs> Right. But we're going to get it. We're going to get it. And the best way to just get in motion is to book our calendar and kind of force ourselves (laughs) to get off the bank into the current, into the river so that we can flow into a more expansive space and have a team in, you know, roll into November and then, or December in the new year. So that's my visual for all of this. Um, And, and anybody, I mean, we can team up too. So don't feel like, oh gosh, I don't even know if I want to do this by myself. We can always team up. It's so much fun to do events together. So just putting that out there too. Um, So what do you think? Are you ready to message some people? Yeah, I've been doing it. Okay, good. Let's do it. Um, I did. I wrote out my list. I have my list for, oh, go ahead. Out is, you know, we talk about the hundred person list and I never I've always started it, but never finished it. So yesterday I finally sat down and looked at it. Cause I, every time I go through my phone, I don't know if you guys are like me, I started making excuses like, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to contact that person next. And so yesterday I'm like, this is ridiculous. I need to contact because everyone has used the skincare. Everyone is this, everyone does that. You know what I mean? And who knows where their life is right now to see if they need a business opportunity, right? So I just wrote them all down. So I was able to finish the list and then some. Yay. And the reason why I think this is a good idea now is because I've read this 
well, not now, obviously it's always been a good idea. I just haven't paid attention, but, um, reading those network marketing books, everyone says over and over again, block time, whether it's 15 minutes, half an hour, hour, because once you get going, you get momentum and you don't want to stop. So this is where the list now comes into play because if you spend like, I'm going to start this week doing at least an hour every day of picking up the phone and calling people. And if you start having good conversations or whatever, you're going to get that high and you're going to want to keep going. So this is why you have to have a list because what I was doing before is I would then be like, okay, that person's done. And then I get on social media. Okay. Who's going to resonate with me today. And then I go down rabbit holes and then I'm like on social media forever, like being like, oh, okay. I'm getting totally distracted instead of focusing on the task. Agreed. That looks really pretty on you, Tammy. What is that? This is the floor, I think. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that color. Mm -hmm. Floor, right? <laughs> I love that one. Me too. Sorry, See? I'm distracted. We could just do that, a little video on the floor. <gasps> the floor with the, oh no, because it has a lip too. The, um, Shira, that was awesome what you did. I'm going to do that maybe today. today. Beware, it is really bright. And when it's, I did it, I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to stop the thing and I went in and I had to put more foundation back on because I didn't, it was my first time using it on the video, like at all, was yeah. doing it on the video. Oh. <laughs> like, holy cow, this is a lot of red. Even, even that little blooper would be funny. Yeah. It would be. We need to leave like, our bloopers. It's really it's pretty. Dark. It's high pigment. It is. I have to put just a dot here, dot here, and then use our um, balm or the gloss, the whatever you call it in the, what's it called? In the tube. The lip. Oh my God. Uh, oh. The lip treatment? Yeah. The, what's it called in the tube? It's like a gloss almost when it goes on. Lip salve. Oh, oh salve. Wait. That's right. That's right. I know we what have some lip thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is, it is high pigment. <laughs> you should, you should do a blooper video, Laura. You'd be great. So I just, okay, maybe I'll do you that. don't want to do this. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's a great, I, I, I will do it. So with the, um, sorry, going to the skincare line, I just got a question from a, from a current client of mine, cause she's looking to order the skincare line again. So she was, I'm telling her now about the new line. You can still use the spot remote mover, right? Just do yeah, it as yeah. normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, uh, Eileen Kohler said to use the spot remover at night. The, what is it called? The counter essence spot remover. Um, counter spot remover. Oof. Yeah. You know, the thing. Use that at night <laughs> because you can get phot photosensitivity from it. But um, use it every other night and then use the genius pads every other night. You know, you can switch up, switch back and forth between those. So you two do things. you clean your face, then you put it on, or do the yeah, put it on, yep, and let it dry, and then add all your creams and stuff. Yeah, she was really adamant about letting any kind of serum dry on your face first, and then adding stuff to it. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, so cleanser, then the counter, and then the rest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, cleanse, tone, counter. I've so, yeah, Melissa, I think um, going back to your people and feeling frustrated, I think when you start, like, maybe build a list of some new people and start reaching out, because that's, um, I find that I get stuck when I, like, just like you, and then I'll be like, oh, and then I don't do anything for a few days. But if I start a new list of people to reach out to and then start doing it, someone's going to reach out and or respond and then it's going to give you that like okay this is working you know what i mean yeah. you just need to find like yeah. one person to help and it's going to help you gain that like you know um courage and positivity to keep you being yeah. like okay this works and i like the idea of asking them for if not you who Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to start mm -hmm. yeah, just respecting. I totally understand and respect this isn't your thing right now. That's cool. Thank you so much for trying. Who do yeah. you know one person? I've, I've actually changed how I say it. Instead of saying, who do you know? So you were like, I don't know. If you say, do you know one person? Yeah. Who, yeah. And that came you know, in that last business. Book. 
Tammy that we read as a, from our last month, he said that like, was it him or am I, I don't know, I'm getting them all confused now, but basically they said, when you go back and ask someone to join your business and they say no, then you go back, like you say, and who do you know when you describe, oh, it's get over your damn self. You describe the person that you're talking to. What is it about them? And you say, well, do you know anybody who's a hard worker or this and that and the other? So you're describing the person that you're talking to so that they start to think, oh, right. that is me. You someone know, who's been so, yeah. health and wellness, someone who might be gluten free, yeah. someone, you know, might have some skin challenges, someone who's looking for extra income opportunities, especially mm -hmm. around the holidays. Yeah. I thought that yeah. was really smart. Mm -hmm. Because if you just say, because I've noticed for me when I just do a blanket like that, like, do you know anyone? They're like, mm. but if you can start pinpointing some things and they're like, oh yes, there is this person in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a good idea. Not to answer actually, or ask the yes, no question, but to ask, right? Like mm -hmm. who would be, mm -hmm. into, right? You know, if you're talking to a teacher, do you know any other teachers that could use an additional stream of income? Uh, there we go. Yeah. You know, other moms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what she yeah. said in the book. Like, Whoever it is you're talking to, say the exact same thing back. Mm -hmm. nice. like, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Sherry. Yeah. Where do you have, um, I'm on Facebook here. Where, where's your stuff about your breakfast club? Oh, I don't know. I only, I just do it every once in a while. I do like a video or. Is it on your personal Facebook? Are you looking for the graphics? I know it's, what? Are you looking for the graphics? Mm-hmm. Um, I just Is always grab them from someone. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't have, let me see if I have them in my phone. I know. Uh, we'll do that in July. When did we do that? Yeah. I actually don't I have know. a graphic for that right now. Do you have one, Timmy? Yeah, I'm looking. I remember you. Didn't you post one? And oh, I have. Or then when I see other people posting them, I grab them and I keep them and then I post it. But, Crap, I might even have it on my phone then, you guys. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I tried to keep something on my phone, but I, I've been cleaning out my phone recently to get rid of old um, graphics yep. so they don't, like, take up a bunch of space. I and know. Or let me do a uh, search Facebook. What's your, um, Sherry, don't you have an Arbon? You've got your personal, but then you've got your Arbon. Mm -hmm. No, my personal is my Arbon. All right, hold on. Let me go to groups. What am I thinking of then? It might be in just stories. I normally put it in my stories. Um, I know, like, if you go in Mind, Body, Skin. Yeah. Yep. Mind, healthy Mind, Body, Skin group, there is, a, I think there's a unit for the 10-day smoothie challenge or something. Yeah, yeah, that, okay. Then maybe that's what I'm, here we go. All right, let me go in here and see. What the hell? Flourish yeah. Mind, Body? Because then there's Mind, Body, Skin. Healthy mind, body, skin. Healthy mind, body, health. Because then they'll, they'll, they'll have a bunch of recipes and stuff too that you could use. Yeah, right? Okay. But I know I don't have in my phone. Healthy mind, body, skin. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, Melissa, while they're looking for that, I was going to tell you because I know um, uh, Leslie Howard is one of your con uh clients, right? Yeah. Um, yep. So re one day, let me find her let me, so I can remember this conversation I had with her. She, I think I just, I reached out to her in September to say, hey, um, oh, I know why. I was talking to Danielle um, and she was just saying, um, you know, something about like, she wasn't loving the detox tea. She thinks it makes her sick, feel sick and nauseous. And I was like, interesting. Mm -hmm. and she's like, yeah, my mom has yeah. the same issue. And so I was like, well, that's interesting. So I actually reached out to Kathy Ray because um, I don't know why I just asked her like her thoughts on that. And she was just saying that basically, if you look at your gut health, if you're sending in the detox tea, you have like one soldier trying to fight this entire battle. And so oh, good and analogy. That's, that's a good, good way of looking at yeah. it and so she's just saying that they just need to like do something like the 30 days to healthy living and work on their health so I just sent Leslie a message just saying hey 
I was talking to Danielle. I hope it's okay that she shared with me that the detox tea was not making me feel well. And I just, you know, say, I'm sorry to hear that, blah, blah, blah. So then she ends up, um, I, cause so then I was asking like, cause Kathy said, are they leaving it in the water or are they just steeping it and then taking it out? Is that a oh, got it. And so she okay. said, I do not leave the tea bag in, but honestly it gives me a terrible stomach ache. I have a terrible stomach uh -huh. inherited from my father and there are so many things I can't eat or drink because of it. So I find that so many people are always connecting their health issues straight to the family genetics, which we've all been trained mm -hmm. to do our whole life. But what I've always learned from Tammy is she says that we've learned how to eat our habits and our lifestyle has been taught from our family, but we do yeah. have the choice to change. So i basically said that, you know, I, I responded to her saying, I'm so sorry, you have stomach issues. Um, are you drinking it on an empty stomach and stuff like that? So anyway, we just went back and forth and I just gave, I sent her a voice text just saying, Hey, something to consider is doing the 30 days to healthy living. Um, cause one thing that I've learned is genetics is really 10%, 10% is connected back to genetics and you still have to trigger that gene for it to even be a genetic. Mm -hmm issue but what we have learned is what tammy always says is that what we've eaten what we eat we've learned a recipe from our family and lifestyle so i just thought i'd let you know that i sent that to her and i realized yeah. now she's never okay. responded so i mean you could always just reach out to her and tammy you correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but and just say hey sherry and i just were having a conversation and talking about um the 30 days to healthy living and you know um we have another group yeah, will. here soon and it might help you with, you know, some stomach issues. I don't know. What do you think, Tammy? Okay. No, I agree. And then you can just insert like how it's helped you, Melissa, and just be like, you yeah. know, this is why I'm reaching out because it's helped me. And so I just thought I would reach back out and let you know. And yeah, I will. Um, and plus another option too is she was using the RA9. Isn't that what she bought from you? What did she, she no, she got protein powder. Fit. She didn't do face care. She, she might have done something face care, but I think some of it was the nutrition. Oh, she was okay. down and stuff. And I want to say it was a bag of protein, maybe fizz. And so I'll have to go back and double check. But, well, that, there you go. You don't even have to go into the 30 days then. You could yeah. go into two different sections. One would be Danielle bought the RE9 for her as a, as a mother's. That's what you had said. And so you could just reach back out and say, hey, I just wanted to let you know, we Arbon on, introduced this AgeWell line, which was phenomenal. I know at one point you were using the RE9 and would just love to hear your opinions of it. And this line is amazing, blah, 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 blah. So you could do that yeah. as an introduction to go back and check in with your client, you know? Um, and then the yeah. other one is you can reach out to her about the protein. And just say, hey, we have this amazing um, pumpkin spice protein, and this is what I love about it. Or you can make, you know, pumpkin tea latte, yeah. and just kind of throw that out there, just like checking in. That's the one thing with these books that Arbon gives, like all these incentives every single month, or just new products, and then that's a way to check back in with your clients, just to yeah. have a conversation. Sorry, I feel like I'm talking a lot. No, I love it. <laughs> love Buzz it. away, baby. That's the thing. I, you know, reaching out, like, I, I have people who just order the same thing all the time. And so just to reach out and say, oh, my goodness, I am obsessed with the new mint mask, which I am. I use that every day. <laughs> I'm, like, obsessed with it. And it really helps with mask acne, you know, which a lot of people are dealing with right now. Because the, of the little, the sea, the konjac, whatever. I we, love that sponge. I love the it. Sponge, the sponge, the mask, the oil, everything. It helps so much. You know, and little tea tree oil for spot, spot treatment. So anyway, I'm just reaching out about mask acne solutions if they're interested. Good idea. And what I love. Um, again, the pumpkin protein, I've kind of like missed the boat on that because I, I love it, but yet I've been like, doing age well stuff so i need to i need to insert that into my excited messages too <laughs> oh and then melissa i'm looking through like the past um consultant or 
um, clients that are not active anymore. And you've got like Kathy Hutchinson, Katie Markinchek. Yeah, I I reached out to all of them. Well, maybe, okay, so maybe what, send them a little thank you card with a fist stick or a tea or something. You know, just well, I know Kathy. I know the Kathy responded and said she's not interested at this time. I don't know why. I, I she's had some family mom issues or something recently. Katie's, what was she? What was she buying? She was skincare more, mostly. So have yeah, you told her about the new skincare line? Oh then? yeah. Okay. Yep. So. And, and Katie hasn't responded, and I know a couple people have said that they just need a break from everything, just in general with with money issues and this and that. So it's like, I get that. So it's like, okay, so I'm just trying to regenerate new people. So, well, in your, I mean, one thing you could do in your next order is you could order the skincare samples, and you could always just drop it off and just be like, you know, thank you so much for you know using to Kathy, you know, using our skincare line, I would love for you to try this just to give me your opinion on what you yeah. think. Yeah. And just, you know, giving her something for being a client and then she gets to try yeah. something new, yeah. which is always exciting. And it's just a way mm -hmm. to keep the door open. And then with Kim, yeah. how long ago did you talk to Kim? Kim, oh gosh, it's been a while. And I, <laughs> she never, Kim is Katie's mom. So it's like they talk to each other every day. So, I mean, I figured, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just trying to come up with new ways of, of getting new people. And I yeah. will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you will. So. So I was say with Kim, <laughs> too, you could always just say, hey, I remember our conversation, you know, about um, struggling with money or something. And I don't know if you'd be open to hearing, you know, more about the business opportunity with Arbonne. We can jump on a call with my upline, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, and, you, you know, know and leave them with them out. You know, maybe it's not for you, but maybe you know someone will come to mind. That, mm -hmm. that yeah, additional income for the holiday. You know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you guys, have have you ever done something like sign up for a breakfast club or for the I saw um, the ten day smoothie challenge or whatever, and then like throw in for them. A, free shaker bottle or something like that i mean would that be something positive heck yeah i'm so like, totally into bribing <laughs> right well like yeah throw in a free a free um shaker bottle for everybody who joins this breakfast club or whatever but i i would just i would just bridge it with um i'll throw in a shaker cup with with a referral Oh, all right. I would just bridge it with that. Or I would throw in a shaker cup for, you know, introducing or, or doing a Zoom event or a Facebook party or something, you know, so you can meet more people. Like, I see. That's I'll a good idea. I'll throw in a box of fist sticks and a shaker cup for hosting, you know, like whatever. Yeah. Okay. That's Yeah. A good just idea. Try, to, try to bridge it to not just a purchase, but to, a, to an event so that so you further. can your network. Yeah. Smart. Okay. I'm, I'm so into bribing though for <laughs> to get <it> events. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Throw it's in shakers with a referral or um, a 15 minute Facebook party. Yep. And just tell them like, Hey, I need to book eight of these. And would you be one of my eight? I really need to practice. I'm going for a challenge. It would be amazing if you could be one of my eight. Thank you so much. 15 minutes. Nice. Good idea. I need to get back into doing the Facebook parties again. They were fun and it was easy, right? It was fun and easy. Yeah. Yeah. Amy's, Amy's um, loving them because she's like, holy cow, I'm sponsoring again. <laughs> is she doing right. it around nutrition or what is she doing it around? She's doing that s'more, which I don't know where I stored it. So let me put it back. S'more. Is that the old one? No, there's a new one now. Oh, Like okay. updated with age well and whatever. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Send that. I'll listen to that. I'm trying to see here, then do the math. 77 yeah. plus 39 plus 53. Oh, perfect. Okay, plus 53 is 169, slightly over, but then they would get a free gift. They could get the fist sticks. 
for a free gift. Talking to myself, you guys over here. So, um, just so in case stuff this month. Just in case you want in to Amy and I have been doing our, um, you know, our daily method, you can do daily method for a success sheet, or we have this journal. It's the same, you know, same thing where you're filling out, um, you know, you're just filling out your sheet every day. Mm -hmm. So then we take a picture of it and send it to each other at night that we filled it out just, just for accountability. So if you want in on that, we could all do it. Because it is, it is pushing me. I'm like, oh, I got to send my thing to Amy. Let me do one more thing. You know, let me keep <laughs> filling it out. Yeah. <laughs> so it is fun to have an accountability partner. Oh, Tammy. Yeah. So that girl, you know, that does the network marketing, it, it works. That I met at Orange yeah. Theater. Yeah. She oh, ended sure. up texting me questions yesterday. Asking me like how our promotions work, how we like train our team, this and that and the Ooh. other. I thought that was good. Sweet. Yeah. She might be someone too to connect to, you know, it's up to you. I don't know her personality, but to connect, to connect to me or Kathy or Carol or, you know, whoever you think would resonate with her most. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to, again, paint a, paint a vision. Mm-hmm. Well, I just texted her while we've been on the phone to see if, because she seems interested in the 30 days, just because she said they don't give plans and she has to come up with recipes for her clients. And she's like, just hearing you say that you guys do that for your clients. That's amazing. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm spending so much time doing that for other people that I'm not able to work on the business. So I just invited her to either the Wednesday night one, or I can do one for her you know, one-on-one -on -one or just send her a Dr. Tina Cook video to check out. Perfect. So at least she can see what the 30 days is about. That, speaking of the Tina Cook, just from my stories the other day, I did a bunch on the healthy living. And then I, at the end, I said, message me for a video, for an informational video to learn more or whatever. And I had a lot of people ask me for the video. I'm like, oh, sure. that's cool. So I have a lot of follow-ups I'm doing with that. So that, oh. was another, that was cool to put in the story. So what did you do? I, I just posted on the healthy living, you know, like what it is, the product, mm -hmm. whatever. And then at the end, I had a picture of myself, like, you know, and then I said, message me for a, message me for a short informational video on the, on the plan or whatever, however I said it. But, but then I ended up sending out that Tanda Cook video to quite a few people. That's actually smart. I'm going to try that because that on your I feel like everyone's scared to get on the phone sometimes. I don't know. I don't know why, but that's, that's really smart. So just to end your, end your story with an action, you know, a call to yeah. action. Yeah. Where is that, Tammy? I've done that before. Message me for more details and I don't get anything, but I said message me for a short informational video and, and then I did get hit. So that's awesome. Tammy, where is that? I'm on Facebook right now. Where, where oh, it? it was from a couple days ago, my story, but, um, all oh, your story, you know, okay. the, the Tanda cook video, it's yeah. like eight, seven or eight minutes or whatever. Yep. So I just, I did a story talking about the healthy living and then ended with, you know, message me, I'll send you a video to hear more. Yeah. Okay. And then the story's gone, right? You can't see it after. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I don't okay. know it anymore, That's but it's, from a couple days ago, but I was like, woo, that's exciting. I, I haven't had, I, you know, usually I'll get one person when I post about that, but this was like, woo, a lot of, a lot of interest mm -hmm. with the All video. Right. Message me about a video, a short video. Yeah. Message me to, to, um, to learn more in a short video. I don't know what I said. <laughs> yeah, probably to learn more in a short video yeah. or something, right? Yeah, I'll send you, yeah, message me and I'll send you a, an informational video to learn more. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell you, you and Melissa, Melissa and Laura my story of the other day. Um, so I was at Orange Theory and this girl um, was sitting next to me in the rower and that's where we started. And I've seen her a couple times in class already. And I was like, oh, hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. 
And she was like, good. And then um, I just asked her a question like, you know, what do you do? And she's like, oh, I'm a designer um, for Matilda Jane. I was like, oh, get out. I'm like, I used to be a designer for Vera Bradley for 12 years. And she was like, oh my gosh. And I said, but I left corporate life four years ago. She goes, I'm so jealous. She's just like, I do not like what I do anymore. I'm so unfulfilled. She's like, I can't, I can't stand going to work every day. She's like, I'm looking for something new. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then we start working out and then she's like, we need to get each other's number. So after class, we get each other's number and she's just like, you know, I feel like I've been hearing so many people get out of this fashion industry. They get into health and wellness and they look amazing and they're like so happy. And I said, that's funny you say that because that's what I'm doing. And I said, but I, I'm happy to share with you what I do. And she was like, yeah, let's do that. So we met for coffee Friday and, um, come to find out she works for a network marketing company. So I sent her the is Arbon for you sheets before I showed up. And so she already started looking at them and she goes, Oh, okay. So you, so what you do is network marketing. I said, yeah, are you familiar with that? She goes, actually, I'm doing one too. And I was like, which one? And she goes, it works. And I was like, you know, I've never heard of it. So then we sat going through like the differences between it works and Arbon. And I shared that we're willable. They're not, we only have four levels. They've got a bazillion of them. Um, and then we just, she just starts sharing discon a little bit of discontents with the company. She's like, you know, we literally have team meetings every single day of the week. She's like, I have a corporate job. I work all the time. I have two kids and I come home and I want the side hustle to take over my corporate. But the problem is I'm spending all these times in meetings and I'm not even getting to work yeah. in business. And she's like, and they say it's volunteer, you know, voluntary, but you kind of get the heat if you don't show up. And I was like, oh, well, it's, you know, not like that in our world and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And so I just kind of left it as that. I gave her samples, you know, skincare and protein and all of that. And so that was Friday. And then yesterday she starts sending me a bunch of questions. So tell me how more about promotions. How are you teaching your team to grow your business and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, never know. Cause she was just like, you know, I think it's good to look at other options. She's like, I do think network marketing works. I do think it's an option. Um, and she's like, you know, I'm, I'm a single mom, so I can't just rely on one income. That's why I did this. So I was like, well, she's smart. She gets it. But anyway, I just thought that was really exciting. Like you never know like yeah. where my old shy self was not good at like talking to people when I would be in a new environment. I'm like forcing myself to ask people strangers questions and it just leads to a conversation. It's crazy. That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. So who knows? Maybe she'll be part of our team. Maybe not. Maybe she'll connect me to somebody else. But if anything, exactly. what you said at the beginning of this, Tammy, is it builds excitement and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to keep going. Like, even if it's not her and she doesn't join or doesn't do anything, um, it, it made me excited to be like, I need, that's what led me to come home and finish this darn sheet. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah. okay, this works and people need this. Like she's crying going to work every day. Mm. Not every day, but she said that she cries sometimes driving to work because she can't stand it. And I'm like, this is an option. This is going to help someone. You know what I mean? And our community is so helpful to each other. So anyway, I just thought that was cool. I love it. Beautiful. You guys check out seriously that podcast I sent you. I did. I was listening to it. Yes. Yeah. So good. I'll send it to you, Melissa. I haven't listened yes, to it. Yes. It's so okay, crazy. Thank you. I called, I called Monica and I'm like, <clears throat> dude, you didn't tell me she was an Arbonne rep. I'm like, that is so cool. Like, I just like her approach. And then you're at the very end, she picks it up again with Arbonne because Monica keeps kind of going back. Like, so how has this affected your Arbonne business? Right. And then at the very end, she and then you know she ties it in um but again it's about the energy right that you're bringing to your people to your clients to your team and it's a it, it's a hit all right it's like energetic hit like what sherry just got at and talking to this woman and right yeah energy points yep yep mm -hmm. that's true that's why i like those um the super attractor now i'm reading the universe has your back and every your back. Yes. those things. It's like your day. You start reading that in the morning or doing those meditations, and then all of a sudden your day is different. Totally. It's totally bizarro. I love it. This stuff gives me goosebumps and tears because <laughs> it makes me so excited. <laughs> That's the thing. We don't know who it's gonna be, but 
we're going to leave a path of positivity wherever we go. You know what I mean? All these energy high points that people are just attracted. Like, why is she so happy? Why is her skin so nice? Why do I keep seeing her and thinking about her? <laughs> what is she saying? I'll finally listen, you know? <laughs> totally. but the cool thing is, you know, we're, we're attracting because of our energy. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I and one more thing that I loved, this give it over your damn self is my Bible. I'm going to refer to it all the time now. But what I liked is even people you've talked to in the beginning, like for me going back to a couple of years ago, I didn't know what I was saying and doing. And so she said, go back and say like, you know, I would just like to have the opportunity to talk to you again. I was in the beginning of my business. I had no idea what I was doing. So I just thought of you again and wondered if you'd be open to talking to me and just learning a little bit more, which I love that. I was like, that's so good. Yes. yes. I trust you. I value your opinion. I respect you so much. It would just mean the world to me to be able to restart, refresh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking to book eight events on my calendar this month. Will you be one of my eight? <laughs> True. Mean the world. For you guys. Ready? One, yeah. Laura, one, what? Two, three. Get a picture. One, two, three. <laughs> Are we doing a boom? Oh, that would be fun. You want to do a boom? Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> That's super cute. <laughs> Good. I love it. <laughs> I just. So we'll, we'll wrap up here, but, but make it a goal that you're going to book something on your calendar today. Okay. Like let's yes. make sure that we get something. And I just wanted to read two things um, that have, I've, I've used these for goodness for five, for the last five years to help, help boost my mindset and energy and belief. So this is from Isaiah 60, 22. And it was one of those verses where, you know, how you're having a down day and I just opened my Bible and it just fell on this. And I've always just like thought that was a big sign. <laughs> so, and it says, a little one shall become a thousand. A little one shall become a thousand. Tell me that's not network marketing. <laughs> and a small one, a small one is a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. So it's just like a tincture of time. A, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. I just think that's beautiful. But again, it just starts with one. One conversation, one text, one post, one, post, one that will become a thousand. Um, and then Gandhi said it so well, a small body of determined spirits fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. Woo, I get goosebumps every time. You know, a small body, small, again, small, start small. Small yep. body of determined spirits, fired, determined to make my best month this month, my personal best, um, fired by an unquenchable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. So just wanted to end on those notes. Like we, we have an amazing mission to help people not only with their health but with their wealth and mindset spirit everything love it love it love you guys thanks for thanks for brightening love my you. day I'm so inspired and yeah let's let's um boxer each other and text each other when we when we book something perfect Keep the energy up thank you okay love you have a great love day you too. bye bye guys Uh, oops, no.